Review, great animation and storytelling. Welcome to Cinemascope Reviews. Join us for insightful critiques and in-depth analysis of films, ranging from indie darlings to epic blockbusters. Are movies your passion? Subscribe and dive into the conversation below. This time, let's look at reviews of Suzume. Suzume, directed by Makoto Shinkai, is a Japanese anime about a 17-year-old girl named Suzume Wado. Set in southwestern Japan, the film follows her journey with a young man named Sudami Nakata to close mysterious doors that cause devastating earthquakes across Japan. The story is a blend of fantasy, romance, and coming-of-age elements, as Suzume confronts her past and the disasters threatening her world. Review number 1. Cultural Resonance The film successfully evokes uniquely Japanese sentiments regarding natural disasters and daily life's preciousness, despite minor narrative shortcomings. Its portrayal of the protagonist's romance could be more fleshed out, but overall, it presents a well-crafted, engaging story. Review number 2, Compelling Yet Fragmented Despite the engaging animation and protagonist's determination, the story feels rushed and the ending unsatisfying. The film's lack of clarity on certain subplots, like that of Daijin, leaves the viewer wanting a deeper exploration. Review number 3, Matured Storytelling the film shows a progression in Shinkai's ethical and inclusive storytelling, making it a more suitable watch for a wider audience, including children. Unlike his earlier works, it portrays a responsible and mature approach to its characters and themes. Review number 4, Fantasy Meets Reality Shinkai's blend of fantasy and reality begins typically but evolves into a narrative that ties into real-life events, making for a strikingly impactful story that resonates deeply with the audience's emotions. Review number 5, Disaster Romanticism The film's attempt to personify natural disasters as controllable events is questioned, as is the seemingly forced romantic destiny between the protagonists. Despite natural affections, the depth of their love appears unconvincing. Review number 6, A Message to the Living Suzume's declaration of wanting to live is a poignant message from those who've passed to those of us living today. The film serves as a tribute to victims of disasters and wars worldwide, urging us to appreciate and live in the moment. Review number 7, Visual Splendor vs. Narrative Pacing While the animation and portrayal of nature and urban life are breathtaking, the narrative suffers from pacing issues and superfluous scenes. The emotional climax feels subdued, leaving a sense of wanting more from the overall experience. Review number 8, Natural Disasters Reimagined this poignant tale reimagines Japan's natural disasters as the work of mythological beings, with a heroine who, through love and determination, grows beyond her reckless disregard for life. The film's resonance with the audience, irrespective of age or nationality, is noteworthy. Review number 9, Balanced Brightness Shinkai's film struck a balance between seriousness and lighthearted moments, making it accessible to those who might shy away from heavier stories. The character Tamaki stood out, and the voice acting brought naturalness and emotional depth to the story. Review number 10, Unmet Expectations Despite being beautifully animated, the film's appeal was lost on someone dragged along to watch it. Failing to grasp the intended enjoyment, the film came off as underwhelming, especially when compared to Shinkai's previous work, Your Name. Review number 11, Unrivaled Box Office Success Shinkai's global box office success reflects a straightforward narrative enriched by mythological elements accessible to international audiences. The film smartly intertwines timely issues with a girl's coming-of-age story, making it an engaging road movie set against the backdrop of potential earthquakes. Review number 12, A Journey Beyond Grief The film confronts the complex emotions surrounding disaster, offering more than just a requiem by sending its protagonist, Suzume, on a journey beyond her trapped past. It's an emotionally charged story that reinforces the value of life, gratitude, and the support we can offer each other. Review number 13, Unconvinced by the Hype The film fails to resonate on a personal level, lacking the dramatic depth that comes with character evolution rather than mere plot progression. Shinkai's works seem to miss this aspect, offering superficial treatments that don't satisfy those looking for more complex emotions. Review number 14, NHK-inspired view Influenced by an NHK documentary, Shinkai's engagement with the Great East Japan earthquake is evident. The film is visually impressive and entertaining, but it may not leave a lasting impact. Despite its broad appeal and nods to Ghibli, it feels more like entertainment than a profound narrative. 
Review number 15, Entertainment vs. Depth The visual spectacle of Shinkai's style is undeniable, especially in the character Kusakabe's actions. Though the story has its merits, it seems to cater to a younger demographic, potentially missing deeper thematic resonance for the sake of entertainment, diluting Shinkai's distinctive auteur signature. Review number 16, Subdued Fantasy Shinkai ventures deeper into fantasy with this film, adeptly exploring themes of grief and the preciousness of life. While romance takes a back seat, the film excels in its animation and the dynamics among characters, despite a slight convolutedness in the fantasy elements and relationships. Review number 17, Fan Fiction Feel The rapid pacing and unclear character motivations leave much to be desired. The slice-of-life elements are engaging, but the supernatural aspects seem underdeveloped. The protagonist's motivations appear unjustly harsh, and the narrative comes across as derivative of Spirited Away. Review number 18, Potential for a Series Outstanding visuals and animations parallel real-world events, touching Japanese viewers deeply. Despite the storyline's compelling start, the introduction of romance derails the plot somewhat. This film could have excelled as a television series, allowing for more nuanced development of its themes and characters. Review number 19, Suzume's Portal Suzume is a cinematic gem within the anime landscape, offering a dive into a double-layered fantasy world. The narrative follows a young girl and a closer task with sealing doors to avert disaster. As they embark on this journey, she confronts her past memories, making it a universal story that could well be an Academy Award nominee for Best Animated Feature. The following is the final review. Review number 20, Homage to Ghibli. Makoto Shinkai's storytelling prowess shines again with an enchanting blend of emotional vulnerability and stunning animation. His character's relatability captures hearts as much as the homage to Miyazaki and Studio Ghibli through both subtle and overt tropes and symbolism. A unique adventure on par with his previous work, it's a film I definitely recommend. That concludes our reviews. Thanks for tuning in to our movie review. Remember, every film has layers and secrets waiting to be discovered, and here at Cinemascope Reviews, we're all about uncovering those treasures. If you enjoyed our take on Suzume and want more deep dives into your favorite films, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Join our community of movie enthusiasts, share your own insights, and let's keep the conversation going. Until next time, keep loving movies, and we'll be back with another review soon. Don't forget to like and share our videos. Happy watching!